Hi everyone, Amy here with Time Hero, and today I'm going to show you how to use our app on an iPhone. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the App Store. You want to go ahead and search for Time Hero. Alright, and once you find us, you will go ahead and install the app, and this is what it looks like. Okay, so now the app is installing. Let's go ahead and go to your iPhone settings and make sure that those are set up correctly in order uh, for our app to work properly. So we'll go ahead and search for Timero. And there it is. All right, so this is how you want your um, settings to look. All right, so most of fitness turned on, background app refresh turned on. And for location, we wanna have it set to always. All right, so having it set to always ensures that your GPS um, will be precise as well as your mileage tracking and the, the you know, the total calculated miles, all right? Um, if you have it set to while using the app, then what will happen is, is you have to keep that app open on your phone the entire time you're clocked in and are working. Um, so if you, you know, happen to swipe um, over to another app like directions or something, um, it's going to interrupt your mileage tracking as well as location tracking all right so it's very important to have it set to always um, this way you can have the app running in the background you can be using google maps or you know doing whatever it is you're doing um, and you don't have to have the app open on your phone all the time now once you clock in your location and mileage starts tracking once you clock out it officially ends um, while you're off the clock, there is no tracking going on. Nothing is being sent to our servers or to your employer about where you are, um, etc. All uh, right, so it only tracks while you are on the clock. Okay, so now that your settings are correct, um, are correctly done or configured, excuse me, we will go ahead and find the app since you downloaded it. And here it is. So now we're going to go ahead and log in. So by this point, you would have received either an email or a text message from your employer with the correct email uh, to use when you log in, along with a password that your admin has set up for you um, <clears throat> to log in with. So those are the credentials that you were going to use here to log in, okay? Um, if you forget them, you know, simply reach out to your admin um, ask them to send them over to you again, or you can click on forgot password before filling out anything above. And, um, the instructions to reset a password will be sent to your email. All right. So again, the credentials were created by your employer. You should have received them either via email or via uh, text. So after entering in your email and your password, you're going to go ahead and tap on login. All right, so now we are officially inside of the Time Miro app, and this is your time card. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tap on clock in. Now, a jobs list pops up. Depending on your admin and how they set up your company settings, you may or may not be asked to clock into a job. I have it set up that way, so we're going to go ahead and clock into a job. Great. So next to the job name, to the left of the job, I can tap on that I, that little info button there. And I can see the description of the job, the contact details, the address. I can even tap on and get directions here at the bottom of the screen and be taken to Google Maps to get those locations, or excuse me, direction, <laughs> to get those directions. Um, so now that we know how to use that, let's head on back over to the time card by clicking on time card at the top left hand side of your screen. Great. So once I select my job, let's redo that and I go ahead and tap clock in. It's gonna ask me if my location is accurate. I'm gonna wait until it actually drops the pin and I will take a look at the map here. Awesome, my location is accurate, totally happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap yes. All right, so now I am officially on the clock. While you are clocked in, you can add notes by tapping on notes, tapping on this white space here, typing in whatever, and then clicking done at the top left. Okay, you can also attach photos to your timesheet if you'd like. Um, once you tap on attach photos, there's a plus sign at the top right hand side of your screen. You can tap on that. Then you'll be asked to take a photo or select one from your photo library. Okay, after you choose one or the other, follow the instructions, attach the photo, click done, you're good to go. Great, so now, um, as you can see, there's a button there for me to start my break. 
depending on your admin and how the company um, set up the uh, configurations for the account, you may or may not have that button. But in this case, we do, so let's use it. So I'm going to go ahead and start my break. Now you can see I have two options here that my admin has set up for me. Both are unpaid. Okay, so while I am taking my lunch break, I will not be being paid for that time, and I will show you how that works on the time card. All right, so I'm going to simply just tap on rest here. Great, so now my employer knows that I am taking my break, and it has begun, and I know that because it says end break, because that's my only other option. I have to click on end break in order um, to be able to clock out. Let's just stay on break for a minute here. All right, so let's go to um, our settings. That is at the top left-hand side of your screen, you're going to see a gear icon. Let's go ahead and tap on that, and we can look at a few items in this um, page here. So reminder notifications, that's pretty cool. So we can tap on it, and you can set up clock-in reminders at certain times of the day. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Clock-out reminders, you can turn on and off. Um, you can pick the days of the week you want to be reminded, etc. Once you finish doing that, you simply click on save. All right, so automatic clock-in and clock-out. Um, has to be turned on. Okay, so I just tapped it. Obviously, I can't turn it on because my admin has not configured it for me. So what that means is that um, if your admin comes to you and tells you that you that they want you to be automatically clocked in upon arriving to a job and automatically clocked out upon uh, departing the job, you would have to turn that on. Right now, as you can see, we're using the manual clock in and clock out by tapping on clock in and clock out. All right, so we'll save that um, settings and explanation for another day, but you will only need to turn it on if your admin tells you to turn it on because that's how the company settings are configured. In this page, you can also chat with us. Um, if you tap on it, you'll be taken to a live chat page to get support. And if you click on get help, that will take you to our help desk with lots of cool um, videos and articles to assist you with using our app. That pretty much is it for there. So go ahead and tap on close on the tap left hand side of your screen. Great. So now you're taken back to your time card here. All right. So we can go ahead and tap on end break. Okay. Now it takes me back to my regular time sheet, right? From when we first clocked in. Okay. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom of your screen here and let's head over to time entries. These are going to be all the time sheets. Um, and there's lots of colors going on here, right? So we have blue, we have red, um, some are white. All right, so the blue means notes were added to the timesheet, okay? And we know that because we did add notes. Um, if you tap on it, you can go ahead and see those notes there. To get off of this time entry, you can just click on time entries at the top left, and it'll take you back to all of them. Now, if it's red, that is a flag entry. That means that you um, either took a break that was longer, which that's not the case here because there's no lunch break, but that means usually that you clocked in at um, not the right location. You didn't really clock in at the job. You may have clocked in 10 minutes before you arrived, or you may have clocked out three hours before you actually left the site, or excuse me, after you left the site. Um, so that's why it's red, and your admin will see that it's red, and they will be notified um, if you are clocking in too early or clocking out too late. So it's very important that you make sure that you clock in when you're supposed to, when you arrive to the job site. Um, and then if you see a white one, you know, no, nothing's going on. No notes, no issues with um, where you clocked in. Okay, so that pretty much explains the time entries. And also, too, on the right-hand side, you'll see um, the fork and knife icon. That means a break was taken. If you don't see it, that means a break was not taken on that day. All right, also on the bottom of your screen, if you tap on schedule, you're going to see your schedule. Okay, it's very easy to navigate. Some of them are green, some of them are red. So on January 3rd, let's tap on that one. It's green. Let's find out why. Okay, so depending on how your admin has configured the account, you may be able to accept shifts or decline them. In this case, I have already accepted the shift. That's why it was green. So now I'm going to go ahead and decline it. I just told my admin I can't work on January 3rd. Now you can see the accept shift uh, button is back. And if I head on back to the schedule, it's now red. That means I declined the shift. All right, so the same thing here. So, you know, January 4th, it's green. I accepted it. January 5th, it's red. I declined it. All right, so depending on how the account is um, set up, again, you may not be able to accept or decline shifts. You may just be able to view your schedule and then go ahead and work that shift. 
It all depends on how the account was configured. Also, with accepting and declining shifts, you would receive an email saying, hey, there's a new shift. Um, do you want to accept or decline it? Um, right now, we cannot accept or decline shifts through the email. Uh, you would do it here, or you would actually just go to um, timero.com, log in there, and you can um, accept or decline a shift in the web portal as well. All right, so then again, at the bottom of your screen, you're going to see announcements. This will be anything here that you're admin uh, employer wants to send to you this is not a two-way street it doesn't work like text messages where you guys can like have a conversation back and forth it's simply for you to view the messages here and that's it there's no responding or anything like that and if you tap on the more button this is where you can go ahead and request time off and you can also um, keep track of your time off requests again you may not have access to this it depends on how your admin configured the account but if it is turned on, this is where you would do it. This is how you would request your time off. So you simply tap on time off. And you can see here, I already have a bunch of requests. On the right-hand side, you're going to see the word pending. That means that my admin has taken a look at this, but has not given me permission to um, take this time off. If it was um, accepted or approved, it would say approved. Um, if my admin rejects the time off, it'll say rejected. All right. If you want to request time off, you simply click on the plus sign at the top right hand side of your screen. And the first thing you would do is tap on pick a reason. And we'll just say um, other and then tap done. And then on start day, you tap on the date. We'll say the 16th and then end day tap on that date as well. OK, and then you would have a choice to pick full day, half day custom and with custom you would enter in specific hours so in this case i'm just going to say a half day right and then um and a full day would be eight hours a half day would be four or you can take off two hours or something like that um so underneath why am i taking time off you simply just tap that white space you type in whatever it is you want to say and when you're finished filling out the form completely you go ahead and tap on send located at the top right hand side of your screen Perfect. Okay, so there it is. I I took um, other, December sixteenth, and you just have the requests go in order. Um, so the last request made will be at the top, and then you can see the hours under the word pending. It's four hours because I chose half day. Um, the one underneath that I chose full day, so it says eight hours. Okay, and that's pretty much it for time off. So simply tap on close to get out of the screen. And then if you just um, go to the bottom of your screen here, you can choose whatever, where you want to go back to. So let's go back to our time card here. All right, so let's go ahead and clock out. And it's going to ask you again, are you in the correct location? So I'm going to say, yes, I am. Perfect. So the timer has stopped. I am off the clock. Tracking is no longer happening. So let's go ahead and take a look at my time entry real quick for today. All right, so you notice here that the time is a little bit um, off. You see six minutes and you see 332 to 340. That's because my unpaid break, okay, is also accounted for in this time card. So if I tap on it to take a look here, you can see my break was one minute, okay? Break was a minute long and I was actually on the clock being paid for six minutes. And then the one minute would be the unpaid. All right, so to head back, you can hit on time entries at the top. You can also go back to the bottom of your page here and to tap on um, time card. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us again by accessing um, our live chat. Tap on the icon, excuse me, the gear icon top left hand side of your screen. Type on, uh, tap on chat with us. And then I'll take you right to a live agent. Um, so you can contact us that way or you can give us a call at 888-998-0852. And one of our awesome support members would be happy to assist you with using our app. Thank you so much and have a great day.